You know guys, before I start today's video, I just want to give you guys another quick update. At the time that you guys are watching this video, tomorrow is my day for surgery. I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. Personally, I'm feeling a lot better, but this is something that I kind of need to get done. And if you know anything about this operation, then for the next few days after my surgery, it's probably not the best idea for me to be locked in talking and ranting and screaming and all this other stuff that I do on the channel. So I might record another video in advance for you guys, but if I don't, then expect to not see any fully videos for at least like five or six days while I recover. And of course, as soon as I'm good to talk a massive amount of shit about Call of Duty, you guys know that's exactly what I'm gonna come back to do. But as it stands right now, Call of Duty's in a drought, so you guys aren't really missing out on much. And although there's nothing going on, there was a very interesting debate going on a few days ago that I wanted to chime in on because it seems a lot of people are split on this, and if you guys know anything about this channel and how against I am of the bundles in this game and the monetization that we currently have and battle passes and black cell and shit like that, then you guys might know which side I'm definitely not leaning towards, but a couple of days ago, this one guy on Twitter named T-Dog, he tweeted out saying, unpopular COD opinion. I would love to see DLC return to future games. Four multiplayer maps plus one zombies map for $14.99. Although seasonal updates are free, we are lucky to get one map and we have to pray it's good. The one negative to this was dividing the player base, but we got a crazy amount of content and some super memorable maps. And just right off the rip, by me giving you guys my opinion on this, I'm very aware that a lot of people are going to disagree, but uh, I 100% absolutely agree with this take. I think the current monetization system that we have offers absolutely nothing to Call of Duty, other than to serve as some sort of eye candy for some weirdos online, which, look, I'm going to be honest, if you're buying bundles online in Call of Duty, a first-person shooter, and you can't even see your own fucking character, I don't really know what to tell you, but as Especially if you're buying these things for like $20 a piece. I mean, you just do a one-to-one -one comparison and DLC map packs from back in the day are infinitely more worth it than any bundle you can currently buy in the last four years of Call of Duty. There is not a single bundle in the last four years of COD that you will ever tell me is more worth it than any DLC map pack that we ever had in the past. And I will gladly die on this hill, guys. You know the Scab Master doesn't keep it sweet. You know I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. Map packs, 100% over bundles. If you disagree, Lizzo. I don't gotta say anything else. If you know, you know, all right? And trust me, I am completely aware of the arguments in favor of not having any more DLC map packs and having the seasonal content and having battle passes and all this other shit. But this got the attention of a lot of people and the Ghost of Hope actually chimed in on this saying, you know what? Activision should just fucking do it. Clearly there's so many people buying Black Cell that even this would sell given how many idiots with money to spend are in the community. He goes on to say, clearly people don't give a shit what they spend their money on at this point and if they want to be cucked like this by being under the assumption of paid maps equals good maps, then that's their delusional right to bear. I won't and will never support paid DLC maps or Black Cell. So this is a very interesting take on the Ghost of Hope and I'll give you guys my opinion on this too, but he actually goes on even further to say, roasting people who buy Call of Duty every year is not even a roast at this point given the fact that so many people willfully want supply boxes and paid DLC maps back as well as automatically buy the Black Cell Battle Pass every season. So this guy's under the assumption that if we had both, then a lot of people, majority probably gooch lickers, would buy everything, all of the above. They'll buy the Black Cell Battle Pass, they'll buy the bundles, and they'll buy the DLC map packs, which I actually do agree that's probably what would happen. And on top of that, I actually do like what he said earlier on saying that he doesn't support DLC maps or Black Cell, which, you know, if it were up to me, and if this were the perfect fully world of Call of Duty, meaning there's common sense, then I would look at Call of Duty's trajectory in terms of sales and I would say, you know what? We have garnered billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. There's currently like an infinite money supply towards Call of Duty and Activision that, you know what, for a year we could afford not having any of this dumbass monetization that we currently have in terms of bundles, battle passes, black cell, and you know what, we can keep the free seasonal maps. So no, we wouldn't have to revert to DLC map packs in order to get money post-launch, 
You know what I think we should do? All together, just make a good fucking title. But guess what? We are far from that. That's not happening anytime soon, so the argument isn't even this. What the argument actually is currently, DLC map packs, or bundles, slash seasonal content, slash battle pass, slash black cell. And I'll tell you guys right now, I'm still going with DLC map packs. Even if we have to pay 10 to $15, which, I mean, if you want to be completely honest, how much is Black Cell, guys? Let's go ahead, go ahead and do it. Just tell me how much it is. It's $30, cash only. You can't even use your fucking COD points on it. So you tell me, one Black Cell Battle Pass or two map packs from back in the day from whichever COD you want. Make it your favorite Call of Duty game. Make it your two favorite DLC map packs of all time two of them equaling $30, or one Black Cell Battle Pass currently for $30. If you choose Black Cell, I'm sorry, but you're fucking high, you're smoking chode, and I just gotta let you know that's some gulag sentencing type shit. And again, I understand the argument against DLC map packs. One, that you're buying maps, and currently we're getting maps for free, and I'll address that very soon, but the other argument is, the people who don't buy the DLC map packs, the player base will be divided, and and those players can't play with the people who bought the DLC map packs, and then it's this whole shit show. Well, guess what? Hold on, hold on. Guess what? How many times have I told people on this channel that with whatever opinion they give out, keep that same fucking energy, right? Even when people want to talk shit to the scat master and they want to criticize me whichever way they want, I take it all on the chin. I don't give a flying fuck. I don't delete comments. I don't suppress your guys' opinions. I don't give a fuck. All I ask is that one, you make sure with your one comment that you better fucking hit me in the head with it because if it sucks, then you know what? That's your only chance for a response from me. But the other thing is, you better better keep that same fucking energy when the tables turn. So guess what? To the people who told me when I was complaining about bundles and battle passes and people would tell me, oh, you're just complaining because you're broke. You can't afford Black Cell. That's why you're complaining. Guess fucking what? If you're complaining about DLC map packs and how you have to pay for them, otherwise the player base gets divided, guess what? You're just fucking broke. If you don't want to buy something that costs money, guess what? You're fucking broke. And hold on, before people get mad, that's not my opinion. That's the opinion that other people gave out. So guess Guess what? If you don't like DLC map packs, you must be fucking broke. Look, I know it sucks to have your logic used against you, but it is what it is. And in terms of what we're getting currently for free in terms of maps every single season, look, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I know that I just spew negativity and just black smudge all over you guys, but guess what? The current seasonal maps that we get for free, put all of them, stack them all together, and put them against all of the DLC maps that we used to get in map packs. And you tell me, which maps are better. Look, right now I'm just doing a one-to-one -one comparison. So if you wanna tell me that, oh, but they're free, Look, copium, I'm sorry, you're broke, all right? I'm speaking in terms of comparison, that's it. And I'll tell you guys right now, some of the better free DLC maps that we've gotten recently would probably be some of the ones from MW2019, which is crazy for me to say because I fucking hate MW2019 maps. You take some of the best DLC maps from MW2019 or fuck it, even Cold War, and you put them against some of the best DLC maps from back in the day in the map packs, I'm sorry, but the current COD maps, they're getting shitted on. And, and hold on, this is the other thing. A lot of people are under the assumption that back in the day, we would never get a free map. And that is just absolute cap. I don't know what narrative people are trying to spin. Back in the day, we got certain free DLC maps, even though there were paid map packs at the time. MW3, not this dog shit that's about to come out, but the classic one. We got Terminal for free as a remastered map, and that is one of the best maps of all time. Now you look at what we have nowadays, and they're remastering shipment for like the eighth time, calling it free new content, and people are eating it up. Look, I don't know what the fuck you guys want from me. I'm just giving you guys the facts, all right? I don't remember if the Peacekeeper was a free weapon back in Black Ops 2, but if it was, then we're adding that in too. But also to take it back to MW3, we got free face-off maps as well. Not all of them, but initially we had a few and they were fucking fun. And nowadays you guys are eating up these gunfight maps and all this other shit, which actually reminds me on the topic 
of dividing the player base. <laughs> It's funny that you guys bring this up when you're arguing against paid DLC maps back in the day. Guys, if I'm a 6v6 player and I have no interest in playing any gunfight map or any of the ground war battle maps or whatever the fuck they're called nowadays, do I get anything out of the four new gunfight maps that we just got? Do I get anything out of the two new battle maps that we just got across the last four or five months? No, right? And instead of getting maybe, I don't know, three to four, maybe even five 6v6 maps in a given season, we're now getting one to two, and then the rest goes to gunfight and battle maps. Do you not consider that dividing the player base? Please just give me your honest thoughts on that because the way I see it, that too divides the player base. And we're not getting four 6v6 maps, so we're getting like one to two. And at least in the last two games in Vanguard and in this game, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2, our 6v6 DLC maps have been utter dog shit, okay? Expo fucking sucks. I think last year we had Paradise, like that fat ass jungle island map type shit. That thing was horrible. I mean, in MW 2019 part two, we're getting maps that are in the fucking pitch black. Like what kind of a waste of time was that? Also, we've come to a point in time where if people are willing to buy $30 Black Cell battle passes or $30 bundles or $20 audio packs, man, these people would likely buy DLC map packs as well. So it's not like Activision's gonna lose out on money going back to this. Now I will say if we're talking about loot boxes, I, I don't fuck with loot boxes, I'm not gonna lie. I don't fuck with loot boxes, I don't fuck with bundles, but if we're gonna go with one, I would still choose loot boxes, I'm not gonna lie. You guys know I fucking hate the bundles in these current CODs. And just to touch back on the Ghost of Hope's overall argument, if it were up to him, once again, he wouldn't support any paid DLC map packs or Black Cell or bundles, which in my opinion, I actually agree with that. If it were up to me, none of this shit would be paid for. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. What do you prefer? Seasonal content with Black Soul battle passes and bundles and bullshit or DLC map packs from back in the day? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very